For police in Cairns, this must be a crime scene as grim as many of them has ever seen. In this suburban house, they discovered the bodies of eight children stabbed to death. The youngest just 18 months, the oldest 15. Officers were called to the house soon after 11 o'clock in the morning. The mother of seven of the children was taken to hospital where she's being treated for stab wounds. Police have not said if she's a suspect. We have a 34-year-old woman assisting us currently with uh, the circumstances surrounding this uh, tragic event that's occurred here. A relative who said she was a cousin of the family said it was another of the women's children, a 20-year-old man, who had first alerted police. And my family's are back home, they're, they're sitting there waiting. We've seen it on the news. I can't say anymore, I'm sorry. Neighbours said the family had not been in trouble before. I'm really shocked too, yeah, because, um, you know, I just saw her this morning, um, yeah, on the veranda with the kids. Australia's Prime Minister Tony Abbott called the killings an unspeakable crime and said that all parents would feel a gut-wrenching sadness. He said these were trying days for Australia. This horrific crime comes just four days after the Sydney siege. They're still laying flowers here for the two hostages who were killed. Australians were profoundly moved by that event and many will be equally, if not more, shocked by these killings in Cairns. John Donison, BBC News, Sydney.